today we're going to look at making a solitary native bee hotel to attract these important pollinators to your garden. So to make a solitary native bee hotel like this, you're going to need a piece of PVC piping. And this is about 20 centimetres long. And I also have an end cap piece that I got from a hardware store. And the diameter of this one is about 10 centimetres wide. Next you'll need some bamboo and it needs to be bamboo that's hollow on the inside because that's where the little bees come to make their nests. And I've got them at various widths here, uh, ranging from about five millimeters, or four millimeters, up to about 10 millimeters or a centimeter. So cut your bamboo into lengths just a little shorter than your PVC pipe. So my PVC pipe is 20 centimetres and I've cut my pipes to about 19 because we want them to be recessed a little bit inside the tube. To do this you can use a hacksaw and do it by hand or if you have access to power tools you could do it with a jigsaw. Okay I've cut all my lengths of bamboo and I've got about 20 pieces here each about 19 centimetres long a little bit shorter than my pipe. If you want to hang your bee hotel in your garden or veranda, you'll need some wire or some strong jute rope about twice the length of your tube. So before we put the bamboo in, we're just going to add the hanger. So I put a piece of wire through my tube here and then I'm just going to tie it at the top. And once your wire hanger is secured in place, just pop the end cap on the end of the tube and it should look like this. Now it's ready for us to pop our bamboo tubes into. So just start placing them into the tube. Remember to have, if one end is closed, make sure you've got the open end uh, facing outwards for the bees to enter into. Just keep stacking them in there. It'll start to get tighter and tighter. Just find a place for each bamboo pole. Now your bee hotel is ready to place in your garden or veranda. You'll want to position your bee hotel about a metre to a metre and a half off the ground in a secure position, preferably with not too many overhanging branches. And I've got mine just nestled securely in the trunk of a native tree here. Come back and check on your bee hotel in a month or so to see if any residents have moved in. I just wanted to show you what a native resin bee nest looks like when the bee blocks up the end of the nest with resin. This is actually in a single bamboo stake that I had in my garden, but that indicates that a mega chili bee is residing in here making a nest for its babies. It's also great if you can provide some forage for native bees and Flowers like this native Westringia, which is called native rosemary or coastal rosemary, Westringia fruticosa, is a great one to add to your garden. 